Hello everyone, it's Victor with you from the forexpod.com. Today we will look at the New Zealand versus Japanese currency pair for the short term trade setup. Before we start, just to remind you, all the information purely for educational purpose only should not be considered as a financial advice. I'm going to get back to uh, our previous trades. Uh, first of all, it's still our pound Australian dollar, uh, still moving down, Australian Japanese yen. Appro approaching the target, although uh, due to the potential signal on the New Zealand Japanese yen, this could be it. So this could have been the top. Uh, now Australian Swiss franc is still uh, yet can reach the target, but I want to remind you that this uh, has been fixed. Profit has been taken already. Now pound uh, Swiss franc, we hit the first target. So here uh, maybe maybe fixing some profits good but we already spoke about that but overall you can also expect some some uh, move to the downside yet again now new zealand canadian uh, this one is tricky now here we reach the the bottom here at 200 moving average you can see it has been rejected so if price will go lower it most likely will be invalidated from this point was the entry we were expecting. So here at the break even we can close the trade or at least push the stop loss uh, below this point uh, produced today. Next one is Swiss Japanese yen. It reached this key resistance, but guys, this is exit because it broke the lowest point on the daily chart previous low, which uh, where we had a bounce from the 200 moving average. This means that it's actually gonna go down. And um, this is the reason, another reason why I am uh, looking for exit on Australian Japanese yen and looking to short New Zealand Japanese yen. So Japanese yen starting to look very bullish against other currencies. On the uh, dollar Swiss franc, we would exit this trade, although it's still below the resistance. But uh, it, I think it could be uh, range trading although it still can work out because we did produce the spike higher slightly higher it can actually go down we will see how it's going to work out so if you tend to to wait for this long-term movement you can still place the stop loss above this high but uh i would be out already nevertheless can go down now the euro swiss franc okay this is what we expect so this trade is still valid Maybe I will move like that. So here we see the uh, downtrend trend line rejected. So ABC. And if this level is broken, daily close above, invalidates this trade overall, still uh, expected to go down as the this resistance is being rejected as well as the trend line. We are left with the, our final uh, pair for today, which is New Zealand versus Japanese yen. This is the idea that I will be talking about. What we have on the New Zealand Japanese yen is a double bounce of moving averages one and two besides this is every support area then resistance then support again also previously here was a strong support uh, support area again resistance resistance we broke below the moving averages and here this was the resistance area the point of the breakout of the moving average 200 exponential we rejected this area price went lower and what we have is yet again we are at this price in the worst case scenario i would expect price to correct and retest this level this would be the perfect entry point if that will happen but from this point onwards as the moving averages both of them are being rejected and besides we have a cross of uh, two moving averages exponential and simple with a period of 200 also a bearish signal and other thing to consider is the uh, lower lows and lower highs are being printed so yet it looks very bearish and the downside target could be this area where you can see the strong very strong support has been formed so this would be our area for the target approximately uh, 63.85 now and we will look also on the 30 minute chart here is um, what we have is um, descending channel we rejecting the channel upper trend line of the channel here we have a resistance formed after the break in the trend line i just will move the trend line like that okay this is our point of break of the trend line 
to be precise, it would be like that. So here is a point of breakout and we can see this area is now acting also as a resistance and here rejected. So from this point onwards, it would either correct to test 88.6% FIPS, which would be the perfect entry, which is 64.96, almost at the psychological resistance 65. But if it may not happen if we, uh, unless we break uh, this high, price can start going down straight away towards our target uh, on the on a one hour chart. So here are two opportunities, either to short from right right here with a half a half a usual risk, and then if price goes up, add to the position, okay, uh, or just wait for the better for, for the better price. Overall, seems like a very good opportunity because of these two uh, moving averages and this area of previous support and resistance prices, right? It, it seems like a huge demand, uh, sorry, supply zone for the New Zealand Japanese yen. And this should be quite fast trend. I don't think it will last quite long, like a week or two, uh, probably days. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this opportunity. Uh, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for our next trade ideas. Thank you all guys and have a great weekend. Stay healthy.